Hello and welcome to Automate Now. This is Marco Cruz. In today's video, we're going to learn how to use the Linear Web Driver to hover over an element. Let's dive in. Let's head on over to AutomateNow.io and we're going to click on Sandbox page and we're going to scroll down to this section that says Mouse Over. Here we have this element. If we move our mouse over this element, notice that the text changes. And this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to write a test that is going to move the mouse over this element. And then we're going to capture the text that appears when the mouse is over the element. Now let's go to the code. And here I have the test that we're going to be working on. This test is called test hovering. And usually I go to the base page class and start working backwards, where I write all the methods that we're going to use. This time we're going to start here. And we're just going to write the things that we want to do. And we want to work with the sandbox page. So we're going to say sandbox page dot do hover. And this is the method that we're going to be implementing soon. The next thing that we're going to do is to create a string variable. We're going to call this one hover text. This variable is going to hold that text that we talked about when we put the mouse over the element. And again, we're going to call another method from the sandbox page. And that method is going to be get hover text. The last thing that we're going to do is to perform an assertion to make sure that the text that is displayed matches what we expect. And here we say assert equals hover text comma and let's grab the text that appears when we put the mouse over the element. And we're going to paste that here. Next we're going to start implementing this method that says to hover. So let's go ahead and do that now. And this is going to return sandbox page. And the first thing that we need to do is to find a locator for the element that we wish to hover over. And this is this element over here. As we can see here, we have an ID that we can use. So if we go back to the code, I already went ahead and added the locator here in this class. And I called it hover. And this is the ID. So now we can go back to this method here and we can say hover over element. And we pass in the locator. And again, this is a method that we don't have yet. We're going to be implementing this method in the base page class. And in case you're wondering why we don't implement everything here in this class, and that is because hovering over an element is something that can be used by other classes. So we're going to abstract that functionality to the base page class, which is a class that every other class inherits from. And let's go ahead and implement this method in the base page class. So I'm just going to grab the name and go to the base page class, scroll to the bottom and create a new method. And here we're going to need a locator for the element that we wish to hover over. The interesting thing here is that Selenium does not have a method that we can call, for example, driver.findElement, and then we give it a by locator, and then we say dot, and there isn't something here that is called hover, for example. We could get the text for an element, we could click on it, we could send keys to it, and a lot of other things, but we do not have a method for hovering. There is, however, another class that we can make use of and that is called the actions class. And we have used that class in the past, as you will notice up here. And we're going to be using it again. Let us first begin by creating a web element. I'm going to say web element. We're just going to call it element and say driver that find element. We're going to pass the locator in. After we have that element, we're going to call actions class. And this comes from the Selenium interactions package. We're going to call this one actions. And then we're going to say new actions and this needs the web driver. So we're just going to pass driver. Next we say actions dot and here we have a method called move to element. And what this method does is that it moves the mouse to whatever element we point it to. And notice that here we need a web element. That's why we created a web element up here. So we're simply going to pass the name of the web element. And as you may recall from previous videos, is that when we're using the actions class, we always have to call the perform method at the end. And that will make sure that all the actions that we call for are performed. So here we're going to say dot perform. So now we have this common method in this page page class. Let us go back to the sandbox page to finish everything up here. We completed the method for hovering. Now let's write another method to get the element text after we hover over it. And here we're going to say public. This is going to return a string, obviously. I'm going to call it get hover text. And this is going to return the text of that element. And we're going to use the get text method from the base page class. And here we pass the element hover. And there you have it. 
Now we can hover over the element and we can get the text after we do the hover. Let's go back to the test and notice that we have no more errors. Our test is complete. Now we can go ahead and run it. Before we run it though, let's go ahead and walk through what we did here. And first we call sandbox page the do hover method. If we go to this method here, this is calling this other method that we created in the base page class. If we go to this method, we see that we're using the action class to move to that element. Let's go back to the test. And after we do the hover, we call this other method here, get hover text. If we go to this method here, we're calling the get text method from the base page class. And this is simply going to return whatever value is displayed on the screen for that web element. And the last thing that we do is to make sure that the text being displayed matches this text here. And let me go ahead and add the error message here in case this fails. Let's go ahead and put a breakpoint right here so that we can actually witness the hover. And let's go ahead and run this test. And we hit the breakpoint. So let's go back to the website. And at the bottom, we can see that the element is being hovered over because it is showing the text that we expect when it is being hovered. If I move the mouse around, you're going to see this text change. Let's do that. And notice that it changed. Let's finish executing the test. And it passed. Congratulations, you now know how to use Selenium WebDriver to hover over an element. See you in the next video. Thank you.